Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, today is the day of prayer and repentance. We come before you with our prayers and with our repentance. Looking back, we don't know whether what we have done was right. Looking forward, we don't know whether we will be able to cope with what comes. We entrust ourselves to you, O Lord. Be with us. Tell us where we need to turn around to repent, to start anew and afresh. Let us find orientation and strength in your word, through your Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear congregation, looking back at the end of this church year, on this day of prayer and repentance, what do you see? We couldn't come to church for many long months. We did not sing together to praise God. We did not bring our collections and other offerings to the altar, even if some deposited collections electronically. Is that bad? Is God disappointed? Should we start coming to the service now that services are starting again? Is it our duty to come? What is important to God that we should do? I read the servant text from Isaiah chapter 1, the verses 10 to 17. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and fat of well-fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls, nor of lambs, nor of goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required of you this trampling of my court? Bring no more vain offerings. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and the calling of convocation. I cannot endure iniquity and solemn assembly. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Correct oppression. Bring justice to the fatherless. Plead the widow's call. Harsh words. Harsh words that the prophet said to his people. Words that also speak to us. And I believe they can help us. Attending a church service is not important. But life, everyday life, is important. God does not need us to go to church. And if we go to church that, thinking that we are doing God a favor, 
then we might as well let it be. Going to church is not the goal of life, of God's people. No, it is the other way around. Going to church should not be a goal, but a means to help us live as God's people, as God wants us to live. As Luther says in the Catechism, we should desire to hear and learn the Word of God. This is what Sundays are for, so that we can live as Christians in our everyday lives. What is important to God in our everyday lives? Let's listen to the sermon text again, the verses that form the goal and pinnacle of our text. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. God wants us to act as is proper to those who are his people, to do good, just as God is good and does good. What is good? It is not the actions that we do for ourselves or for those who are stronger or richer or more important to us that show whether we are doing good. No, if you want to see how a person really is, you should see how he acts towards those who are weaker than him, who cannot give to him or harm him. Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's call. Today is the day of repentance and prayer. If we look at our life from this perspective, under this demand of God, what judgment do we come to? How do I act? How do you act towards those who are weaker than you, who need your help and cannot give you anything? What have I what have you, what have we done in the past year to stand up for the rights of the oppressed and exploited? What have we done to help the orphans, the strangers, the foreigners? God gives. God is a God who gives to those who is there for those who cannot give him anything. God wants us to receive his goodness and to let his goodness flow through us so that we also give to those who cannot give us anything back. Today is the day of repentance. Repentance is confessing where I was wrong and turning around, turning a new leaf, starting over and doing what is right. May God grant us that his kindness, his goodness, may flow through us to those who need it most. Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, Plead the widow's cause. May the peace of God, which far as exceeds our understanding, guide your will and your thinking toward eternal life in Christ Jesus. Amen.